the young lawyers who get themselves enrolled with the bar council as an advocate and start their practice the first and the foremost question before them is what should be our proper dress they are unable to get the proper answer then in those circumstances they either get the help of their friends or the senior but still they have the inquisitiveness what is the actual rule on the dress code of a lawyer in the court of law punjab and haryana high court rules prescribe the dress code of an advocate rule 15 of the punjab and haryana high court rules and orders prescribe that the advocates appearing before the court shall wear a prescribed dress first is advocates other than lady advocates so two categories have been made regarding the dress code one is the advocates and who are not the lady advocates and the dress code for the lady advocates now for the advocates other than the lady advocates the dress prescribed under the rules is that they can wear black buttoned up coat black buttoned up coat it may be a chapkan a achkan a sherwani either of these three this type of up but black button up coat may be wear by the advocates while appearing before the court of law it may be chapkan achkan or sherwani you may find out the exact type of black button coat regarding this chapkan achkan or sherwani i am not supposed to explain it in detail then the other part is barristers advocates gown and band so they have to wear along with this button black coat the uh, gown and the band band should be white so this is a complete dress that is black button up coat along with a gown and a band it is a complete dress for an advocate now the other type of uh, dress which may wear by an advocate is black open collar coat as i am appearing and uh, wearing black open coat open collar coat right along with a white shirt white collar it collar of the shirt may be stiff may be soft with gown and band so meaning thereby a black open collar coat with white shirt white collar of the shirt stiff or soft with a gown or a band it is called barrister or advocate's band and a gown so what i am appearing and wearing is black open collar coat white shirt with a stiff collar but i am not wearing the gown and the band that's those are also the necessary part of the dress now these are the dresses prescribed for the advocates other than lady advocates now what are the dresses prescribed for lady advocates first is black full or half sleeve jacket or blouse black full or half sleeve jacket or blouse the color is prescribed it is black then white collar that black full or half sleeve jacket or blouse should have a white collar which may be stiff or soft along with a white band and a barrister or advocate's gown other is sari or long skirts white or black or any mellow or subdued color without any print or they may wear flare with white or black or black striped or gray flare so 
they can also wear this type of dress that is sari or long skirts with the prescribed color without any print or a flare with white or black or black striped or gray flare. Third type is that they can wear Punjabi dress also. But that Punjabi dress is again prescribed. That is Chudidar, Kurta or Sarwar. Kurta with or without Dupatta, white or black. Again, color is prescribed. White or black. But Chudidar, Kurta or Sarwar or Kurta with or without Dupatta, white or black. Then along with this, they have to wear gown, band, etc. Now, in the subordinate courts to the high court, they have been given one exemption and that exemption is that they are not supposed to wear the band and gown. The advocates who are practicing or appearing before the subordinate courts to the high court, they are exempted from wearing gown and band. But instead of band, they are prescribed to wear black tie. So they can wear black tie instead of a band in the courts, which are subordinate to the high court. Then regarding gown, again these rules prescribe that the period may be prescribed by the competent authority to wear the gowns as in the as the practice is that during the summer time the gown is exempted during the winter times the gown is a compulsory part of the dress i request you all to give your comments and and also guide me or whatever your questions are regarding the Further videos on the Punjab and High Court Rules and Order, it will be deeply appreciated. Thank you very much. God bless you.